What is happening YouTube? I am Lubo ATM and welcome to another video. Um, this is the first video in the 3 minute discussion series. So every week now I'm going to be doing a video and having a quick discussion on some upcoming changes or recently implemented changes into Dead by Daylight and going through what the changes are and whether I think they are good or bad for the game. Again, this stuff is just my opinion. Um, I'm not speaking for everyone and I don't think that I should be speaking for everyone but it's just to give you my take on the upcoming changes um, and kind of take them as a kind of review if you will um, maybe give people some different viewpoints from their own sort of thing so let's get the timer started and we'll start talking through the first topic which is the decisive strike changes Okay, so because we've only got three minutes, I'm going to assume everyone knows what Decisive Strike does. It's an anti-tunneling perk that gives you a 60 second timer after you're unhooked. Um, and if you're downed and picked up within that 60 seconds, you can hit a skill check and escape the killer's grasp and leave them stunned for five seconds. So the upcoming change is going to keep that all the same, but it's going to add a few extra bits of criteria. So it will deactivate within the 60 seconds if you do any of the following actions, which is repair a generator, heal cleanse a totem, sabotage a hook, or unhook others. So, what? So looking at the changes, the reason why these changes have been implemented, I believe, is because, as I said, Decisive Strike is an anti-tunneling perk, and if you've been able to do any of those objective-based actions within 60 seconds of being unhooked, then realistically you're not being tunneled, because if you're being tunneled, it's as soon as you come off hook, killers came back, and you've entered straight back into a chase, probably been downed and put back on the hook. If you've worked on a generator for 40 seconds, for example, you're not by the core definition being tunnelled. Um, so let's look, is it a good or a bad change? So I can see arguments for both sides. From the killer's point of view, um, I think it's a very good change. Um, it stops the this kind of sense of invincibility that, that survivors have after they've been unhooked, where they can like finish generators in your face, um, get kind of escapes at the end of the game that they kind of don't deserve because they've they've been running this and it's either they crawl out or you a decisive either way um just things like that i can see why killers really like it and i can also conversely see why survivors don't like it because it's one of the meta perks it's one of the most ran perks it's one of the most used perks so i can understand why they're say it's as if it's uh it's nerfing this to give the killer a better chance but i honestly don't see it that way i see it as this perk is being used in a way it shouldn't be and I, will, I, I think the devs are trying to change that. They're trying to take away people abusing this perk. And, for example, like what we're talking about with the killers, like dive bombing the killers within the minute because they know that they'll get decisive and get, get off to save a teammate or to finish a generator in the killer's face or, or things like that. I personally wouldn't have done it this way. I would have. I would rather have seen it have like a kind of like a borrowed time aspect that if you get downed within a specific period of time coming off the hook, then your DS is just permanently up, you know what I mean? Like, so you, you, you could, if you're down within 20 seconds of coming off a hook, you just always have decisive strike until, like, you're picked up, and then you can use it then. So if they leave you on the floor for 60 seconds slugged, you would still be able to use it. You don't have a timer that the killer can, in theory, wait out. But that that's just my opinion. I personally think the changes err more on the side of good than bad, and I think it's just going to be a lot healthier for the game in general for... Yeah, you'll probably have less survivors running Decisive Strike, you'll probably get a more different variation of perks, which kind of makes every game a little bit more interesting. And for a killer, you don't have to miss out on kills that you've somewhat earned because of someone abusing a perk. That's just my take on it. Okay guys, that's the end of the first three minute discussion on the Decisive Strike changes coming in in the next chapter update. As I said, I think they're more good than bad, but only time will tell when the changes come into live and we'll see how it affects gameplay for both sides. As always, I've been LuboATM. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It does wonders for getting me up the directory and really helps me out with the algorithms. Um, you can check me out on Twitch where I stream a few nights a week. That is twitch.tv forward slash LuboATM. And as always, until I see you again, peace out.